Give for Good Louisville started right at the stroke of midnight. Heather Benson from Crusade for Children is joining us this morning. Hi, Heather. It's good to see you. I mean, it's we're ninth hour in and, and going yeah. strong. What is it like for the WHAS Crusade for Children to be a part of Give for Good Louisville? It's such an exciting day because, I mean, this has been going on for several years now, and it is extraordinary. The generosity that is displayed on Give for Good Louisville Day. Last year, Louisville raised $6.8 million in 24 hours, which is it's so exciting. Um, the energy it creates, the buzz around all of the nonprofits participating, we're able to just be part of it. And we're just so grateful that this event exists. What does it mean? I mean, we all think everybody knows what the WHAS Crusade for Children is and does. And of course, earlier in the summer, we had the WHAS Crusade for Children. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the it, it just was tremendous. Mm -hmm. the success that came from the actual crusade, but mm -hmm. just to remind people of the thousands of lives that your organization is affecting on a daily basis. Thousands of lives, literally. Uh, the crusade raises funds that help children with special needs all across Kentucky and Southern Indiana. And just a few weeks ago, we announced the 2020-2021 grants that resulted from crusade weekends. That was in August, and uh, we were able to fund 242 schools, hospitals, and organizations that all provide direct services to these children. So um, hundreds of projects. They include everything from upgraded technology, which is especially important this year with everything going virtual. Uh, students with special needs uh, need that technology to access their teachers from an at-home learning environment or from at-home therapy sessions hospital equipment that saves the lives of extremely premature babies. Uh, we have funded that this year. Scholarships for camps, um, whether they're in person next summer or virtual, um, they cost money for these organizations to put on, but they're so extremely important for the children they benefit. They need that social interaction. They need that critical early intervention. And of course they need that life-saving hospital equipment. All of the nonprofits that are involved with Give for, Give for Good mm -hmm. Bill are worthy causes. But one mm -hmm. of my favorite parts about this, and Heather, I'd love for you to weigh in, is, I mean, certainly you have ones that are in certain areas that may, you know, they're, they're, they kind of like transfer over into one another. But this is the time Give for Good Louisville amplifies and lifts those voices of these organizations. And it's a collective effort. You know, it's we're in this together. Mm -hmm. It's not everyone for themselves. And I mean, there's there's harmony and joy in that. I, there really is. And even though there are five, six hundred organizations participating today, you don't feel like you're competing against them. You feel like you're all in this together, working together as partners to raise awareness for all the important causes here in Louisville and uh, just to be energize the generosity that we know exists in our community that was demonstrated for the crusade just a few weeks ago. And for the crusade, we're not a once a year entity. We, we raise funds for these children 365 days a year. So Give for Good Louisville Day is one of those big days for us as, it, as well as many, many other local organizations. All right, Heather. Well, just to our viewers who are watching out there, Give for Good Louisville is continuing on throughout the day. WHS Crusade for Children is one of those worthy organizations that could use your love and your financial support. Thanks so yeah. much for participating. Thank you.